Hey guys, welcome back to Soul Stream Learning. In this video, we speak to Joe, lecturer at UWC within the Department of Dietetics and Nutrition. So if you haven't heard of dietetics before, or you're considering it as a field of study, watch this video. Joe provides some valuable insight as what dietetics is, what the requirements are, and just a general overview of what a day in the life of a dietitian would look like. But before we get to that, I realized that I haven't made explicit what the purpose of Silverstream Learning is. So briefly put, Silverstream Learning is named after Silverstream Road, a road in Mannenberg. It is in this very street where I interact with people who were more charismatic, more dynamic, and displayed way superior leadership skills than me. However, due to circumstances, many of these individuals did not realize their full potential. And I believe that some of this could be attributed to a lack of knowledge. So Silverstream Learning is my contribution to decreasing the barriers to accessing good education, whether that be informal or formal. So I intend releasing videos on a weekly basis. Some of the topics will include career paths, accessing funding, general advice and productivity. So I ask you to partner with me in this journey, firstly by subscribing to my channel, secondly by liking the video and sharing it to someone who might find the content interesting. But let's get back into today's video. Hi, I'm Joel Wilkinson, part of the teaching and learning team at the Department of Dietetics and Nutrition housed within the Faculty of Community and Health Sciences at the University of the Western Cape. A common misconception that exists about what we do as dietitians is that we are only there to make fat people thin. And I'd like to challenge that. Dietetics is an allied health profession, which has been in existence since the early 80s. While the initial focus was on the training of dietitians to work as hospital-based therapeutic dietitians, there's definitely been a shift in focus. This is in keeping with the realization that conditions such as diabetes and malnutrition do not happen to individuals solely because of the, their own choices. It happens because of those underlying factors like access to resources, policies that prevent them from accessing the food that they need when they need it. Across South Africa, the program is currently offered at about 10 institutions. For a full list of these, please visit the Health Provisions Council of South Africa's website and you'll be able to access that information in a couple of clicks. While the Health Provision Council of South Africa's Dietetics and Nutrition Board sets the minimum criteria for entry into a program for dietetic study, each university sets its own admission and selection criteria. It is important that you check out the website of the university to which you wish to apply to find out about their specific criteria. At the University of the Western Cape, we require a National Senior Certificate certified by Umaluzi with an achievement rating of four in four subjects. The compulsory subjects are English at a level four, math at a level four or math literacy at a level six, another language at a level three and life sciences at a level four. At UWC, our dietetics program is a Bachelor of Science degree and it is run over four years. In the first two years, a solid foundation is, is laid in the sciences, nutrition science and life sciences in particular. At third year level, students major in the three pillars of dietetics. These are therapeutic nutrition, community nutrition and food service management. The program culminates with an internship in the fourth year. Here, students go out into facilities, both in hospitals, primary health care centres, and also to NGOs, early childhood development centres and schools to apply their theoretical knowledge in authentic settings under the supervision of clinical educators. Dietitians are trained to offer their expertise in a variety of settings. Therapeutic dietitians, for instance, would work in the hospital setting. If you think of a COVID-19 patient who has been hospitalized and requires ventilation, that patient is unable to consume a normal diet for the duration of ventilation. The therapeutic dietitian works as part of a multidisciplinary team to determine the best route and product to feed that patient while they are unable to eat. This might mean feeding directly into the gut or feeding intravenously. Community dietitians might be placed at primary health care facilities such as community health centres. Here, their work involves the management of malnutrition via the Nutrition Supplementation Programme, where nutrition support is provided to pregnant women, children who are not growing well, as well as adults with immune-compromised conditions. 
An important aspect of their work is the advocacy and support of breastfeeding. A lot of their work happens outside the health facility actually because they work with early childhood development centers, old age homes or schools to develop nutrition interventions targeted to address specific problems in those institutions. Food service management dietitians might find work in hospitals or hostels or even in private food service concerns. Here, they are responsible for upholding the nutritional quality and food safety standards from the time food enters a kitchen to while it is prepared until it is delivered at the patient's bedside or the dining hall. I hope that you see that dietitians are able to deliver their expertise in a wide variety of settings and we do not focus solely on obesity and overweight management. A huge part of what we do is helping people to make changes in their behaviour and the ability to communicate effectively is tantamount to achieving this. If you're someone with an interest in nutrition science and you love interacting with people from different walks of life, then this might be a career option for you. Thank you to Joe for sharing some valuable insights about dietetics as a career path. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments and I will pass it on to Joe. Finally, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and share this with friends and family. Until next time, see you.